Um, the first, let's see, um, and a face transplant. Now, um, the first CD is by Rob Thomas. The album is called Something to Be. This is the album, Rob Thomas. Um, oh, there's a, a documentary on the DVD side. I should watch that, but I didn't. Oh well. Um, I'm not really too sure. I, I, I. Uh, Rob Thomas wasn't he like a? He was in like one of those like kind of like soft rock bands from the '90s, I think. Like, like didn't he sing the song about like? Oh yeah, uh, what the fuck was that? Breakfast at Tiffany's. There was a song about I remember hearing on the radio, um, and I think that was him. I don't know. I don't really know. He came from a band, and this is his debut solo album. I don't remember what the band was. So anyway, um, so this is Rob Thomas's debut solo album. I don't really know anything about him. I kind of don't. I don't. I know he was in a band before that he's got because this is a solo album, and um, so there has to have been something. And I kind of like think he the band was they were they sang that song about breakfast at Tiffany's. They were just really annoying. <laughs> I think I think that was them. I don't know. There was so much like shit, you know, that was out, you know, soft rock crap um, that so many guys in flannel search were doing. So, um, I don't know. I, uh, um, I listened to this album and it really kind of sounds like all that stuff. Kind of has that like, you know, you know, these are the titles of the songs. This is How My Heart Breaks, Lonely No More, Always the Same, I'm an Illusion, when the heart ache ends, something to be, all that I am. She's a problem, girl. I'm falling to pieces. My, my, my. Street Corner Symphony, now comes the night. All right, so that's Rob Thomas. Um, those are the titles of the songs. I listened to it. I was really bored by it. Um, it reminded me of like 10 years ago when there was all that boring stuff Thank God radio is gone, but on the radio, um, and, you know, there was, just, like, breakfast at Tiffany's, and, and I'm trying to remember, you say, I only hear what I want to, you know, you know, that's like, like, all this stuff, like that, like, I don't remember, like, what's the other one, uh, that I thought of this morning, um, something about getting, uh, oh, Sandra Bernhard makes a good joke, about, oh, Fiona Apple, that's a female, um, Sandra Bernhard makes a really good joke about that period in music, and starts talking about how they're all self-indulgent, whiny little bitches that need to get up, get out of the, um, bathtub and work their way forward, <laughs> and, then stop singing about teen angst, because teen angst is over, um, I don't really care. I don't think I was an angst, angsty kid. I don't know what the hell I was when I was a kid. I don't really care. Alright, so the... Oh, I'm going to start this over, I think. Um, maybe not. <laughs> I don't want to have to talk about Rob Thomas again. <laughs> so, this is Rob Thomas. His album is called Something To Be. Um, it's, I found it very boring. Um, I can't really remember what band he was in. He, it, it, it's like his debut solo album. Don't remember hearing any of it. I played it on, I listened to it in my car, but I don't remember hearing any of it in any kind of promotion. But then again, I feel bad for people like Rob Thomas because to be in like the music business and make a, a living at it, that's like a horrible thing, because you can't make money in music anymore, and nobody, there's no, you know, who you're up against, you know, Justin Bieber, you know, I don't know, this is, yeah, CD and the DVD, Ooh, 
<laughs> I didn't want the DVD. I need to go. I need to go with watch. No. So that's that. I give that a one star. I I res I I respect everybody that tries something, and Rob Thomas is trying something. So good for him. Now that brings me on to the next CD. Um, it's an album called Love Drug by Ball in the House. All right, this is Ball in the House, Love Drug, and. This is all the guys. There's like five or six of them. Let's see. There's one, two, three, six. There's six guys. They're a vocal group. Um, and oh wow, they got a cop. They're all copying attitudes. They really need to stop that. But they're from Boston. Um, and I th I got this at an Amvet, um, and they were selling them for a dollar a piece. And they had like they had a box full. <laughs> so the poor um, bale in the house or ball in the house. Um, I wonder if that's a pretty much reference. Um, anyway, yeah, they do all these. They do. Um, let's, see, let's see. They cover a lot. It's mostly covers. They do summer of '69. Um, Love Drug, Fire, Summer of 69, Unchained Melody, you know, things like that. Um, there's, I, I think there's a couple of originals, or they bastardized some, <laughs> some old, old songs so much that, yeah, you can't tell. I don't know. I actually, I have to take that back, because I really liked this album, um, Ball in the House. Um, and the, I didn't really like it musically because I don't like vocal groups it's not my thing um, and it's very cheaply produced and all the pictures are very funny um, like they're all standing on stairs and it's all very like kind of in sync -y. and it's interesting because this one picture they cut out this one guy practically you know and he's probably like the least least good looking guy so they're probably just like, oh, he doesn't really, he probably has the best voice, so they're probably just like, oh, he doesn't really exist, because he's not really, he's probably the least attractive guy, so they're probably cutting, <laughs> that's why they're cutting him out, oh, poor guy, um, anyway, so I, I, you know, what can you say, it's local, um, they're out of, like, South Shore, I think they're out of, like, they, um, Boston Mass, just out of Boston, Granite Street, and Boston Mass is their address to, and you can call them for gigs, and they have an email, I want them for gigs, they all sit there, at, you know, they're sitting, at, I don't know, I don't need to describe the pictures, but anyway, it's very poppy, um, very kind of like, you know, whatever, um, you know, it's, in sync. I don't. I really don't find anything different between them and In Sync, um, or Backstreet Boys, or any of that stuff. It's the same kind of like you know, male vocal harmony shit. You know, it's that kind of music. Um, I'm not a fan of that kind of music, so I don't really like it. But I will say I do like the fact that this exists. I'm sad that they were selling like 50 copies at Amvet for like a dollar a piece. Because I wish they sold more in stores and at gigs and things like that. Just because I am for anybody doing any form of art or creating anything, whether it be music or painting or drawing or writing or making films or whatever, I'm 150% behind the concept and the ideas of doing that. So I... I my hats off to these guys because I respect them all for doing it, putting it out. Um, they put it's kind of, you know, it's not that well put. It, it is what it is. Is you know, it, you can tell it's very independent and you know because it's all very kind of flimsy paper and all that shit. But I don't care. I respect them. It's kind of, basically it's a demo um, on a disc. Um, I like the fact that they the chutzpah that they had to do it. Um, and like I said, I respect anybody that that doesn't just sit on the couch, watch TV, or play their fucking video games, and just sit there. Even if you're an artist, you are. These guys are all artists. Even the ugly guy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, they're all artists. So everybody deserves to 
create. Whether anybody sees or hears or acknowledges your creations, it should be irrelevant. I mean, I make short films and I compose music, kind of noise, you know, kind of fucked up noise. These cutout bins, nobody watches them. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah, nobody watches them. It's safe to say that. And, um, and because I've asked questions and said post down there and nobody's posted shit. So, <laughs> and, you know, people will say, oh, I noticed you posted another one. I'm like, yeah, watch the fucking thing, but nobody does. And that's not the point. The point is creating it and the point is doing it and the point is just anything but sitting in, it's just so easy to get enjoyment from watching what others created for you. It's better to create <clears throat> create your own. I make my own music. It's kind of like a cross between Brian Eno meets um, Honda Trash or Boy Dare Car. It's kind of very noisy. It's electronic. Um, I make it with my computer um, and uh, and the guitar. I use a lot of guitar feedback and, and my computer because there's an awesome amount of sound banks and rhythm and, and you can make songs that sound like songs which I've done and you can make songs that sound just like insane like like white noise which I've also done but I've done CDs after CDs I think I've done like nine CDs um, will anybody ever hear it? No! <laughs> but do I listen to it? Yes! I listen to this stuff going to work to and from work I listen to it more than the stuff I buy I l and the music I create I like because I'm creating the kind of music that doesn't exist that I want to hear. That's it, you know? And these guys are singing the kind of songs that they want to hear, the way they want to hear it. Whether it finds an audience, that's another thing. I'm not into, I paint, I, well, I, and I, I had an art show a couple, a hundred years ago, and I had my paintings sold. I made, I made a couple thousand on, paintings that I did um, but that doesn't mean anything because that was like 10 years ago and now who the fuck is this shit you know some people have them nice that's cool you know I've put out a couple books I got you know the book about MS I got a lot of comments about I mean they got written up in magazines and things like that just because nobody writes about MS nobody gives a fuck about people that have it and that got some some acknowledgement, but I'm not doing. I didn't do it for that. I did it because I had this story in my head that my life that was fucked that fucked me over. I got fucked in the ass with a dinner. <laughs> they didn't thank me. They didn't kiss me after. No, they just life just fucked me in the ass and left. And so I wrote a book. I was pissed off and I was angry. And the book is pissed off and angry. But I got a lot of people. I had what is it? Dateline contact me <laughs> I did and I had Dateline tell me that the people that work at Dateline read my book and liked it um, because I don't know if you remember when Montel Williams got MS it was kind of like the hip new thing so people were actually giving a shit since then nobody cares because Montel's doing commercials for insurance ads so anyway but anyway um, so the point is I like I like Anybody doing anything, even if it's crafty and, and you know, just noodles and shit, just make something. Do something. Don't just sit and watch what others create for you. Create for yourself. I listen to my CDs. I like them. I'm not saying anybody else is going to like them, and I'm not whoring them. I'm not trying to tell you to listen to them or look for any of them or anything. I make the films I make because I like them, and I do watch them. <laughs> I will lie in bed sometimes at night when I'm bored. And I'll just pop in a DVD. I've got like several. I've got so many. I've got DVDs of short. I have like two compilations of DVD shorts, and you know they're both like an hour and a half long. <laughs> but I and you know they're filled with like five minute films, and I like these films. Nobody else sees them. Nobody else needs to see them. I have a feature out that's on Amazon that nobody knows about. I'm edit. Uh, it was shot into great. Nobody knows about it. You can download it for, on Amazon. It costs you, I think, four dollars, um, and <laughs> but nobody will. <laughs> and um, I have another film coming out. It's a feature, and it's going to be distributed through Amazon as well. 
And again, no one will know about it. But as long as I like the film, I'm happy with the work I did, it's good. And that's how I feel about everybody else. Be creative. Just be creative. Do your own thing. Don't rely on other people to dictate or to present things. You know, if you want to check out life, you know, if you want to obscure things and check things and look things and have opinions, do it yourself. And that goes to every part of life. You know, artistically and I think artistically and socially, they're connected. But also politically, don't be a Democrat. Don't be a Republican. Be a person. You know, I mean, the hybrid of two, it, I think, you know, I'm, I'm going on a rant because I hate the, uh, that's it, no talk about politics. Um, just be your own person and create your own entertainment. Stop relying on others to create your own your entertainment. That's all I have to say. And I respect these guys for doing it. I hope they didn't, they enjoyed making it. I hope they had a good time. I hope they liked the finished product. I found the finished product decent. It's just not my style of music. I don't see it as anything worse than Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. It's the same thing. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily as dancey, but who cares? Maybe that's not what they were going for. So I respect these guys for doing it. They're called Bail, A Ball in the House. I keep fucking the name up. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't think... <laughs> Check your local AMBAT. It's a dollar for the CD. Maybe you can, maybe he'll like it. I don't know. I, okay. So I give them a four star because I'm going by credit now. This is my l second to last one. The next, the next cut up in is my 50th episode and my last one. See, nobody who, you don't watch these anyway, so <laughs> who cares? The last CD is Lost EP with their album Because We Can. All right, that's Lost EP, and the album is called Because We Can. There's 12 tracks. It's instrumental. Thank Jesus. Um, came out in 2006, and that's Lost EP. Um, it's instrumental, and it's kind of a... You know, it, it's, it is what it is. Um, it's instrumental, which I like, um, but they're kind of like, you know, they, they kind of sound like almost like background music to commercials, you know. So, um, but again, you know, they did it, they're doing it, you know, good for them, but, you know, it's not all that great. Um, I didn't really like it. It's, I love instrumental music, but, um, you know, I really do prefer instrumental music, but I do think that, um, that, that it's kind of a bit boring. It's, it, it does sound like, in, like, background music for commercials, or like, you know, um, um, like infomercials, things like that. It's kind of synth-based pop, um, with a, a hint of dance, but not much. It's mostly atmospheric, kind of. You know, kind of stuff that I can do, I feel that I can do in like five minutes, you know. So anyway, so Lost EP, I'm going to give them one, because I didn't really like it, and I was bored to tears with it, and I think nowadays, you, you know, people need the one star. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. This is my second to last cutout bin. Um... That's it. Goodbye.